I can explain. Now you're probably asking, why do you look so badass? And didn't you get captured in the last video? Hold up, I'm explaining. So I did get captured by the sack guy, found nothing interesting. I did, however, die a lot in the process of finding a lantern to skip this area. I then went back to where the sack guy kills you and decided to head for the next boss fight, which is Amelia. Killed everything on my path. And when I finally got to where she was at, I decided to stop. And start over. I am a big fan of the Blee builds in Elder Ring. I did some research and found out that there is a Blee build in Bloodborne. Well, sort of. It's not exactly a Blee build, but a Blood Tinge build. Blood Tinge is for firearm damage, but there's one weapon that scales with it as well. The Shikage. So I decided to start over and get this weapon early in the game. So follow along. So the most important thing was to kill the Bloodstar Beast. That way you get a chalice that will give you access to the dungeon we need to complete. You run through all the NPCs and try not to die. Once you made it to the beast, kill it, cheese it, whatever. Do whatever you can to kill it. I suffered without the stats I previously had. Alfred was available to help, but after so many deaths, he got tired of dying himself. So I had to kill it by myself. I tried so many times and after so many tries, I decided to take a break to regain some brain cells. All right, so this fight made, it was just freaking hard as hell i tried everything before like i found a way to get it from behind whenever he did the slash thing i could like do a charge attack and stun him it was hard but at the point pop, i got it you know I, it was very easy you know but i saw my tactic was to actually do that over and over and over again until you know he you know finally dies but at some point, he gets his venom, a venom type of uh, body. So it's impossible. Not impossible, but it's get a lot harder for me. Because whenever you get close to him, you get you get venom made. So I tried to do as much damage as I could. I even I even did some uh, leveling up before. Like I tried, I, I farmed a lot of enemies just to get to this point. It was very hard. It was, <laughs> it, it, it made me, it frustrated me because whenever he got a hit, he poisoned me. You see, you saw that. He just poisoned me with one hit. So I just had to back out, you know, try to get some distance, take the antidote. Whenever it did that hit, boom, I got a stun in and then I went from his asshole and then... I got him straight away. It took practice and it, it, it took a lot of deaths for me to, in order for me to get it. But now when he does that thing, I saw a video where you just throw one of those potions, a pungent blood cocktail on the edge and then he goes to attack it. So I never knew this worked and I tried it and at first it didn't actually pay attention because it was just too far away. But as soon as he started attacking me, you know, I almost ah! died. As you can see there, I almost died, dude. Like I was panicking. I was like, Shize, I am going to die. So I had to spam the healing button, change to the antidote, take it quick. At this point, I was screaming. I was like, please, no. I am so close to doing this, you know. So I had to farm. I had to get these pungent blood cocktails. I had to kill enemies. I think I found some even. And then I got to one of the edges. I let him like come to me. Boom, threw one. Dodged, just in case. And he was still too far away from me. So at this point, I was like, I'm wasting my my, my, my life, mate. Like I am wasting... The, the one thing that I struggled to, and then he stuck, he got the smell, and then you, I went just from behind, parried him or stunned him, got him in the ass, and I did this, I think, one more time after this, and then he was just dead, you know. Well, I threw Molotovs, never mind. I uh, know I did parry him. But okay, but he, he died. I, it was no need for me to actually get his ass again, but anyways, I mean, you do what you had to do, right? So after you finally managed to kill the Blastar Beast, you go back to Hunter's Dream, put the chalice in one of the gravestones, and start the dungeon. Now, all of the dungeons have three layers, I think, and each layer has its own boss. So in order to get to the boss, you have to find a lever, and that lever opens the door for the boss. And this boss, let me tell you, this boss literally broke my sanity. I don't know who in From Software had the idea to put this boss in the first layer. This boss literally took me hours to beat. This is the type of boss that you have to learn the patterns. You can't cheese it. It broke my sanity, mate. And when a game breaks my sanity, it's when I have to go to YouTube to find a way to beat it. So I had to fight him until I got like used to his combos. So I knew exactly when to dodge, when to not dodge, 
and when to hit so i had to do it slowly but surely and i died a lot i died so many times like this it broke my sanity anyways i did beat him and then after you beat him you have to just go to the next layer and then kill the second boss now this boss was not that hard it's actually three bosses it's basically like father goes going you have to parry now once the second boss is done we go to the last step which is getting the actual weapon so you go to a gray stone you put in this code and join the dungeon all right so once you join the dungeon you all, the only thing you have to do is actually spawn on the second lantern or how you go to you go back you go into the left door you just run past all the enemies that you can find and you will eventually go up the stairs and there's like a do big door to the left of this enemy do not fight this enemy there's no need just open the door and try to dodge as soon as you get in because he can't hit you and just follow along the path you keep on running there's nothing here that you should worry about you should actually go to the right but here i saw a chest and it really piqued my interest so i got i got the chest to see what it had i kept on running now you have the only thing you have to do is just run past all the enemies there's no need for you to fight they're very high level don't worry about it just run 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 go straight forward you see this door now there's a boss there well a mini boss just go past it go to that freaking chest or whatever that is open and you will eventually get the sword the lost chicago is actually the better one is the best one actually because the stats are different on this one and that is how you get the chicago early in bloodborne now believe me the journey for this weapon it was hell but it paid off well i do a lot of damage now this is the beauty of it we i do <laughs> i don't even have a lot of bl uh block block hinge i think this does more damage Boing! now the downside of the weapon is obviously it depletes your health so what i'm about to do is that i'm gonna try go around to kill some stuff get some weapons you know that i missed ah, I, because i did a speed run on this so the one boss that we needed to get to was uh amelia uh, so we have to go all the way over there I actually do a lot of damage like this is just mindless and this is just basic form it's not even blood tinge imagine if i have blood tinge made Oof. i still have not done all of the things that we've done in the uh in the last uh, session how this boss fight is gonna be i have no clue really i haven't fought any boss with this weapon so only npcs uh, hello amelia should we watch this i think we should i mean i've, I've seen this before i've seen this before oh boy it's just weird it, it, he reminds or she reminds me of uh, the beast from uh, a full metal alchemist where he fuses the kid the chimera sorry she reminds me of the chimera from full metal alchemist the one with the kid and the dog gets fused Ooh, that is a disgusting transformation trust me mate whoever had the idea of making a boss this horrifying they have nightmares like from software i think they, there's something wrong with them it is there's absolutely something wrong with them like who who comes up with this thing look at that it's just gonna roll uh i do a lot of damage oh this could be actually quite quite a match about oh boy oh boy okay 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 calm down girl i i i need i need to breathe for a split second <gasps> i don't remember that oh yeah I need more stamina. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's actually very easy. I don't think I'm going to struggle with any boss until, like, the very late game. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oof. Oh, she's healing. No way you heal. There's no... Oh. <laughs> Come on, can we go back? Yes. And you're dead. There's no way you survived this. You survived that. All right, but you're dead now. Woo. That's how you do it. All right, we get the golden thing. Now, I've never gone this way before beating Amelia, so I'm going to try this now because last time I didn't have any balls at all, mate. Who here? Who is here? Whoa, who are they? What? Who are they? I've not, I haven't seen you before. Your armor looks sick, though. Ah, ball. Ah, ball. I'm missing all of the shots. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm staying behind the trees. I'm staying behind the trees. I'm staying behind the trees. Ah, ball. I got electrocuted. Ah, ball, ah, ball, ah, ball. I'm about to die. Heal, 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 heal. How is he stronger than me? What kind of enemy are you? Yeah, you're dead. What's that? All right. All, all right. Uh, your gun, please. Oh, you do. Whoa. Oh, you have the spear gun. Whoa. Bah. <gasps> no. Ooh. Come on. Stop. Stop with that bull. Ah, ball. <gasps> Ooh, he would have killed me there. Th that thing doesn't even do damage. The only thing it does is stuns me, mate. And it's annoying as frick. Ah. Okay, okay, you're annoying, mate. You're annoying. You're just gonna die. Okay, you gotta come to me one way or another, mate. One way or another. Come on. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, What exactly is this? Is this an altar? There's nothing here. Can I open this door? No, it is closed. Oh, what the? 